All right, you thumbnail sucking. Wow, okay, let's, all right, let's try that again. You spineless noodle bitches. We are gonna be trying to find the virgins today. Oh, <laughs> uh-oh, that word will get me banned on Twitch. Um, but I'm not calling anybody a virgin. What I'm trying to say is we're gonna be finding virgins today. Now hear me out. We're gonna find a virgin, two virgins actually today. We're gonna be scoping them out. Here we go, finding two virgins. Now listen. I'm pretty good at sniffing out virgins, right? There's about 200 of them right here, right now. Shout out to Jubilee for making this video. W Jubilee here, okay? W Jubilee. We've got ourselves seven people. Seven people. We have to try and figure out which two people out of the seven are virgins. I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. I am a virgin. I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. virgin. Yup, I believe that, Josh. Two of them are liars. If the group discovers both the liars, they'll split a cash prize. If any of the liars survive, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd man of? Why, why are you guys virgins? I'm a Christian. Hey. So like, nice, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, so like I was raised like saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. Okay. The fact that there were four Christians kind of caught me off guard, so I kind of thought that one of our, the Christians wasn't a virgin. I grew up <laughs> in a conservative Middle Eastern family, okay. so we just didn't grow up talking about that, so I never felt comfortable, and I wasn't really confident in myself. I'm from like a Catholic family, so... Floral shirt, slicked black hair, no bitch having, motherfucking Ivan. Yeah, no, that dude's definitely one of them. That one's definitely one of them. They're gonna throw you off. They're gonna, they're gonna make people look like our targets. Like this dude looks like he gets app he gets negative bitches, right? But turns out here's how it's gonna work out. Ivan fucks a different hoe every fucking day of the week. But they make you perceive him as a complete fucking loser. You know what I mean? When I say loser, he's gonna really sell himself. And he's really good at selling himself. I know he's gonna be good at selling himself. And he's gonna be yeah, his body counts over ten thousand. This dude bangs more chicks. He had to move states because he just cleared out the entire state. This dude fucks. Ivan is a W. Like Filipino Catholic family, there's no way that I could like ever have a thing. Plus, I'm also yeah. ace. What's um, your excuse? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm because I'm demisexual. It's like kind of honest. Okay, I gotta, I gotta catch up. Demisexual is a person who does not like exper to not experience sexual attraction unless they are. They form a, st a, a, the words are blocking, a strong emotional connection with someone. Okay, so they'll only have sex with someone if they're emotionally connected. And then this guy, Ivan, doesn't like people. She looked a little mysterious, and before the round started, we were informed that there were two moles, and she didn't really have a reaction to that. I voted for Leah because she didn't say anything, and also she was the oldest. She didn't really give us much to go off of, so. Has everybody had their first kiss? Yeah. 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 I, I, I actually have oh. not. No? Really? I legit have no, not. No, just How, okay, keep it's, waiting. It's okay, yeah. Just wait. Yeah. How old were you it's guys okay. when you had your first kiss? I was 15. I had it at Disneyland. Fuck <laughs> <Have> you. <laughs> I was 18 when I lost my kiss. First kiss? He said that he lost his first kiss, and that was just a red flag in my head because I was like, I wouldn't say it like that. Uh, I was... I mean, look at him. Look at him right now. Look at him. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. He looks like a heathen. He looks like a fucking heathen. I was dating someone that wasn't saved. Yeah. And Same. that, I That's really think that brings me down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When... Okay, I don't remember this guy's name. We're gonna go with... His name is... I think, actually, I think I'm... Ricky. Ricky, far left, your sweater weather man. I think, you guys see the size of his nose? Like, for real, look at the size of his nose. Huh, I don't know. I was thinking originally he might be a virgin, but I don't know. Looks like that dude could sniff out some bitches from a mile away. Ivan mentioned something about losing his kiss. I didn't want to, but I, I had to vote for him. No. No! He was pretty like timid and I just felt like he wasn't giving enough details to what he was saying. Damn it. Bye. 
Oh, okay. First off, I've been leaving the stage right now saying, you know, f you guys. Ivan fucks, man. I'm Team Ivan till I die. I am. Man <laughs> down. I genuinely tried to talk and like say my things out, but everyone was going over me. I just like sh shrank more. One word for you, Ivan. Beta. Two words. Male. Beta. Male. What are some stereotypes that you guys think? That's what I was gonna ask. This but I'm just happened saying at my work the other day. Like two of my coworkers were like talking in the back, and then I walked up, and they're like, "Oh, Rachel's here. We can't talk about this stuff because <laughs> like she's too like angelic." And I was like, "Guys, come on! That's, like I I know yeah. about everything." Yeah, it's people think that like as a virgin that I'm like afraid of sex. But best believe, <laughs> wedding night. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere Dude. that whole weekend. The whole weekend. Damn, that's a lucky guy. That's a lucky guy. And I feel like for me is that people immediately assume I'm religious and waiting for a marriage, but mm -hmm. that's actually not the case for me. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I feel like a little like I can't relate to you guys because I'm not technically waiting for marriage but I'm waiting to have a solid relationship with mm -hmm. the guy like I just want to be totally completely comfortable with him there's no right time to have sex everyone's on their own path and you know when the time comes it comes when it comes it comes you know what I'm saying chat when the right time comes it comes but also it just it makes sense to sh to wait to share that with somebody that's the only person that's gonna share that with you. That's like that's just something really special. I mm -hmm. think go beyond religion. <laughs> Plus, yeah. everybody has told me like they had a really crappy time the first time. Yeah. So yeah. like I don't want to lose it. I want to give it. Yeah. Okay. You know what I that's mean? Beautiful. Yeah. I love that. Right? Yeah. Give my I want to give my virginity. That's so beautiful. Oh my god. Cut scene. They're all having an orgy. Cut. That's the end of the video. Imagine the fucking imagine. Imagine. Wow. Wow. What a fucking video this would have been. But they ruined it. It could have... I mean, holy shit. I, I also struggled with pornography as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. and um, But God really freed me from that as well. It messed with my mind. It really did. It gives you this fake outlook on what sex is. Like, yeah, it's not real. Sex. It's not yeah. sex. Like, it, that's just actors, like, mm -hmm. putting on a show. Yeah. I think for when guys get into that stuff, it makes them think of women as an object. Definitely. And that Everybody repeat after me. We respect women. I respect women. Women are not objects. We love women. Women do a lot for us. I have a question for the Christians. I mean, I don't have mine on because I, I jam my finger. But I have a purity ring. Do you guys, like... Have anything to like? No, I don't think you need to show it. Mm -hmm. and everything, it's not. She brought up purity rings, and I feel like that's something that not too many Christians do in nowadays. So I thought maybe she was trying to pretend to be a Christian, and that was one way. Yeah, I'm allergic to metal, uh, and so like, <laughs> jewelry is really specific for me. Mm -hmm. So like, I just don't even like. Yeah, I made these earrings. Type one in the chat if I should get Kayla a purity ring and get her reaction live. Chet, Rachel's a Rachel seems like a really nice human being. Look, I mean, look at this gal. Rachel looks like a nice gal. I can't see her. I, I just can't see her getting piped down like a with a plumber. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I just I don't see it. She looks like she's got her shit in order all together. Flip floppity flip. She looks like she's a barista at a nice coffee shop. She looks like she remembers your order before you even walk in. Rachel looks like a good gal, but I definitely smash. I would definitely smash for sure, for sure. I just got these vibes from Jazz. him that he had sex before and was like a reborn virgin. There were so many religious people in the group and I was like trying to get rid of one of them and the purity ring kind of made me choose her. The most oh, linear yeah. guys, it's not me. Raise your hand if you think that the mold is still in the box and you would like to continue the game. Nice. I want to bounce back to what you said about like alternative sex. Mm -hmm. Like, what is virginity? No, it's like, like is is like oral that's sex? A good is that because some people are like because I was on my way over here sex, thinking and like then some people are like, well, yeah, giving a hand job could be sex. Yes. You know, it's like I guess that depends on the person. 
Okay. All right. If you're 18 years or older, you can listen. If you're not 18 or years or older, plug your ears. Plug your ears. Plug your ears. Plug your ears. Hand jobs. Hand jobs. Instead of getting a hand job, just go fuck a grapefruit or something. If you are that horny, do just do it yourself. What the fuck are you saying? That's a man's home turf. No girl can ever beat a man at their own game. That's facts. Why would I have a female do it when I can get the job done in five minutes or less? Not this isn't. If you're coming to this conversation right now, I'm not being sexist. We're talking about hand jobs. Why would I have her do it if I can do it? Well, I was gonna ask like your view on like sex, like sex education. Like, do you guys believe in abstinence? Like, no, no, no. Okay, me neither. No, yeah, absolutely yeah. Not. What is abstinence? The fact or practice of restraining oneself from indulging in something typically alcohol. Okay, so we're okay. We'll just plug that with sex. Okay, so the okay the fact or practice of rest, so you don't have sex is what I'm getting. Second question: How many of you guys got the birds and the bee talk when you were younger? Like, how many of your parents? Like, I'm genuinely curious. How many of you parent your parents actually sat you down and said, "This is how sex works." My parents never did that. I just remember I hung out with my first girlfriend and my dad goes, don't get her pregnant. I was like, what? That was that. That was that. That was the only time I think that's ever, I've ever had a conversation with my father about that. Awesome. Oh. All right. Who do you think the mole is? We've got our friend over here, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Um, we've got the racist porn girl, Josh. We have Josh in the blue shirt there. And then to the far left, sweater weather buddy. Uh, his name is Rick. Ricky gets no ass, no shot, no shot, no shot. I'm gonna have to seal my deal in on Ricky. No, Josh. 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 Hi, guys. Rachel! Baby! Raise your hand if you're certain that the mole is still in the box and you would like to continue the game. Good. If the lights turn green, you go to the mall out. If the lights turn red, the mall is still in the box and you. <gasps> oh, by oh, the love of God! How many fucking ads are you gonna put on this bitch? Oh my God! Oh, wait. Can the malls please step forward? No. You oh my God! <laughs> I knew out of four Christians, Dang. one had to be like. I definitely learned that my like virgin radar is completely off. I am a born again Christian, so my strategy going to the game was to have the mindset that I do now, which is kind of twisting my truth. So everything I said had a lot of truth based to it. Yeah, this is what I need. Post game interview, Ivan. Now, editor, when you're editing this video, I want you to. Put like the Snoop Dogg da 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 glasses on him. Because I told you guys at the beginning of the video, Ivan fucks. And I want to hear this dude's body count. If I could sit down and have a beer with this guy and talk to him about it. This guy's probably been inside. Actually, we're, we won't go that far. What I'm trying to say is, Ivan here, wow, what a specimen. Well, identify as asexual. Oh. Okay. All right. That's the end of the video. <clears throat> Thank you, babe. Coleslaw and a burger. Oh, poggers.